Lucy, Mrs H from Mrs H's Favourite Things here um, and today I am 37 weeks plus 3 days pregnant and I thought it was about time that I packed my hospital bag. So first of all I will take you through what I'm packing in Baby's Boy's bag, Little Mr H's bag and this is um, the bag that I'm using which is our gorgeous new changing bag which is by Smart Trikes and it is the Tox Voyage changing bag in dark melange and um, I love this bag I'm going to have to do a separate review about it because it's just so epic <laughs> and awesome it is huge as you can see um, which is perfect for a mum of a newborn baby and a toddler and it has so many pockets and all sorts, which are just fabulous. And also for me, it can be carried in lots of different ways, but one that's really important is that it can be a backpack, which is great because I baby wear. And it's got loads of additional bags that come with it for you to put things in, which is great. That's, this is the hospital bag I'm packing for Little Miss H. And in, this came with the changing bag and in here I have packed so the changing mat that also comes with the changing bag some baby nappies I think it's about ten there some water wipes and because I know you're not technically recommended to use wipes on newborn babies but these water wipes are uh, perfect for newborn babies because they're completely chemical free and um, they're made of 99.9% .9 water and 0.1% fruit extract and they're especially designed for children with allergies and they're just wonderful so I'm taking those. I am taking cotton wool and I've got that in another little bag which fits in the napping changing bag. So I put that there. I'm also taking a, another a big bag that came with the changing bag. Um, I've got a little plastic bag inside and that's for nasty clothes and baby greys etc that need to come home for washing. So that's that. Just do it up. And this just slots neatly into the changing bag, which is that. And then the stuff, other stuff I'm taking for baby boy is that I'm taking two blankets. So um, this one is very precious. This I was um, wrapped in as a baby. And then I was given it by my mum when um, little Miss H was about a month away from being born and she was wrapped in it and so it seems lovely and fitting that her baby brother be wrapped in it too and kept warm and snuggly and then um, this beautiful rainbow blanket was made by little Miss H's Nana so that's going with us and then I have this beautiful bamboo swaddling blanket which is huge I'm not going to open it up um, but it's by a company called Bambini and Me which is a beautiful company they do lovely lovely little bits for babies um, and mothers and it's made from bamboo and it's got a beautiful bunny design on it I love the colour and it's just so soft and um, love that so baby will be wrapped in that too that I have a matching baby grow romper for also from Bambini and Me that um, has the same design as the swaddling blanket and is also so immensely soft and gorgeous and so that's going in then I have a grow swaddle blanket I've got lots of blankets and three muslins 
muslin is very important to wipe up a lot of stuff. Babies, um, snuggly elephants, a little hat and a pair of socks. They're going. And then um, rest clothes wise. So I've got four short sleeve body suits that I'm taking. Um, three hopefully to be worn while in the hospital if need be and then one for coming home. Then I have little booties which are knitted by Nana and a matching cardigan which was knitted by Nana too so that's for coming home in hopefully. And then um, this is baby's coming home outfit which is the first thing I bought when I knew we were having little Mr H and it's, oh I love it, it's from Jojo, Mama Bibi and uh, it's got a really cute little dinosaur design on it and rainbow colours which are very important and for my little second rainbow baby so that's his coming home outfit and then I've got three more sleep suits which are from Boots, which are going as well. So, um, that's everything for Baby Boy. I am also going to be writing a blog that will go along with this, that will um, list everything. So, if you are looking for a hospital bag list, then this will give you a rough idea of what you should take. Then, I have my hospital bag, which is a um, Kath Kidston bag I treated myself to and can fit loads in. And so in here I've got some very boring things. It's got a brush, some tissues, um, some breast, reusable breast pads, which are also from Bambini and Me and are so lovely and soft and I had used disposable with Little Miss H and just had lots of itching and issues um, so I can't wait to try these out, they look brilliant and perfect for sensitive skin and they came in this little bag which is brilliant so then I've also got a little pack of nip nipple shields um, which can come in very useful when breastfeeding and when things are sore so also got this little Kath Kidston bag which has got um, some hair bands, my antidepressants, very important, paracetamol, some cotton wool, an eye mask and some earplugs. So that's great. I've then got clothing wise I've got an old um, maternity night shirt, night dress that I wore when little Miss H was born to either wear in the birthing pool or wear shortly after when things are a bit yucky. Maternity pads, slippers, a uh, maternity robe, which is your standard robe really. Um, <coughs> Matching with Tenty Nighty. Um, got some socks. Four pairs of cheapy black knickers. So it doesn't matter if they get ruined. And then I've got this bravado nursing bra, which um with my pregnancy with Little Miss H, I wore really cheap, nasty maternity bras, and uh, it wasn't good. And um, so throughout this pregnancy, I've been wearing Bravado maternity bras, and this is a, a Bravado nursing bra, and it's so soft and it's just looks lovely and um, really com it looks really comfortable, and it's got. One of the things I love about Bravado bras is that they've got little pads in, which are really useful because you can tend to show a bit of nipple when you're pregnant and breastfeeding through your bra. So that's really, 
really important. They also, the clips are quite strong and sturdy so you don't find your bra falling down all of a sudden, which um, used to happen with the cheapy ones. And uh, lastly, they can be adapted as well. So you get a little adapter kit so it can be adapted to a normal bra post pregnancy nursing. So that's going with. Then I have a pair of leggings and a dress to wear home. My little box of snacks. So jelly babies, love jelly babies, very important, sugar. And then I've got some cereal bars and a few um, low calorie chocolatey fudge bar things. Um, I've got some juice drinks. Um, I thought they'd be good because the straws, I remember last time when I was in the birth pool Mr H was trying to give me water, kind of went everywhere, I wasn't really concentrating, I was concentrating on breathing through my contractions, so I thought straws would be useful. And then quickly going through my toilet bag, which is also a little cat kids to splurge, I did. So, in here I have water wipes for me, again, very soft and gentle. I have really sensitive skin and the idea of using anything reasonably abrasive after giving birth is not nice. So I have those. Um, I have my Garnier Mekula water cleanser. Um, my Odalique Calming Rose Super Tonic which is just beautiful, it's really cooling, it's really good for overly sensitive skin um, and I just want Mr H to spray me with this during labour to keep me cool and uh, it smells divine. And then I've got What Skin Needs Skin Balm which is um, a natural product and it's good for dry damaged skin and reducing irritations. Um, I always find that my skin gets really dry and nasty in hospitals, so it's quite nice to have something like this that I can just put on any dry and irritated bits. And this is Hope's Relief Goat's Milk Shea and Cocoa Butter Body Wash, which will be lovely and gentle for my first shower after having a baby. Um, it's ideal for sensitive skin and it's 100% made from fresh goat's milk and organic shea and organic cocoa butter. So that's going to be lovely for when I've just given birth. And then a flannel, toothpaste and toothbrush, miniature shampoo and conditioner, miniature face wash, got my favourite Body Shop Hemp Hand Cream, Tin of Vaseline, Deodorant, I'm trying out this deodorant because um, it's aluminium free and paraben and alcohol free and it's designed for sensitive skin so I thought it would be quite good for breastfeeding. Lansano, amazing for sore nipples. I've got some Odalique Calendula Balm which um, will be the face cream that I smother on after I've managed to wash my face for the first time after giving birth. Maternity notes, they will go on top of my bag, but at the moment I'm sort of carrying them around with me just in case I need them. Oh, uh, things that I haven't mentioned, which I'm also packing, are my Kindle, my iPod and my iPad, and their chargers, and as I said, a pillow, and a dark grey towel. I hope you liked this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up if you do like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope you find this helpful and if you're um, due in the next month or so, good luck and take care. Bye!